Be in order, if you would please rise. Father God, we just thank you and we bless your name, God. We give you praise and we give you honor, God. We're coming for you as humbly you know how, God, asking that you order our steps today, direct our path on what we need to do, God, that we come to get a job done. We ask that you look out for our first responders and those that's in harm waiting, yes, to be with us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Madam Clerk, roll call, please. This is a regular meeting of Hendrick County Board of County Commissioners being held on Thursday, September 10th, 2020, at 5 p.m. in the City Commission Chambers in Clewiston, Florida. In attendance are Chairman Mitchell Wills. Vice Chair Emma Bird, Commissioner Daryl Harris, County Administrator Jennifer Davis, County Attorney Mark Lapp, Ad Interim Clerk Kimberly Barano. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Commissioner Turner, have you, are you online? Roger, I'm here, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, Commissioner Swindle? He's on I-95. We'll, we'll, we'll check back with him in a moment. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get started. Um, if you're listening and you would like to speak through the phone tonight, uh, the phone number is 877-853-5257. Access code 955-2625-7584 pound. So as we get started tonight, first thing is a uh, consent agenda. You have something to pull. We're gonna pull. Yes, sir. C1. Uh, just gonna come back at a later date, and we're gonna pull C2 for discussion. Uh, Make motion to accept the remaining of the consent agenda. Second. A motion by Commissioner Harris, second by Commissioner Bird. Any further discussion on that portion of the agenda? Anyone in the public? Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. I think that's Commissioner Swindle getting in there, wasn't it? What's he doing? Voting against? Yes, sir. I can hear you now. All right. Voting against the consent agenda? <laughs> Okay, we have uh, discussion on C2, Ms. Ms. Davis. Yes, I uh, before you I emailed and I also uh, passed out an updated item on the Zoll uh, monitor purchase for your consideration and just needed to point that out before you approved it. Okay. Entertain a motion on that? So moved. Thank you. Motion by Commissioner Harris, second by Commissioner Byrd. Um, commissioners, were you all able to hear what Ms. Davis said? I was not. Would you mind repeating? Yes. Um, your item in the packet was revised for the Zoll medical purchase. I emailed that um, maybe an hour or so ago and also handed it out here. And I just wanted to make that uh, statement for the record that it had been revised of what was in your book. Okay. Thank you. It's been revised from what was in our book, Mr. Chair? Hang on one sec, go ahead. It's the Zoll uh, monitor purchase. This is going to be a purchase with CARES dollars for a total amount of $233 for monitors for EMS. $233,000. All right. The, the, the monitors with the upgrade for the, the warranties that's going to be remaining. Okay. No, I got you. That's a good deal. I'm so sorry about that <laughs> error okay. in my speech. Thank you. Okay. Um, any further discussion? None. Anyone online? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Thank he, you. He keeps opposed. <laughs> He's a little behind us. <laughs> um, Carl, do you have anyone online? Can you, you can see that, I'm sure. There is one person online. Okay, I just I might have to speed up a little bit, and that way I won't be waiting for five minutes on someone that's not there. So. Shane Parker, Commissioner Swindell, Commissioner Turner. Okay, very good. It's going to bring us to awards and appearances. The 2020 Florida Falls Prevention Awareness Day. I move to accept. I second. Okay, we got a motion by Commissioner Eric, second by Commissioner Bird. Is there any further discussion on this? Anyone from line? None. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Very good. 
Uh, we're going to kind of do things just a tad different tonight, uh, uh, commissioners that's with us online. What we're going to do is we've, we've got to wait until 530 before we start the meeting as far as the public hearing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to business by district, and let's try to take care of that. Uh, so with that being said, we're going to start with you, Commissioner Swindle. Okay, thank you. Um, pretty much all good. Just want to say thank you to Shane um, and staff. We had some stuff in Port LaBelle. I know they're working on it with regards to a lot of uh, concerns from code enforcement to greenway easements. I know they're working with the Port LaBelle utility, so uh, trying to get some resolve there. I just want to tell them thank you for being proactive and helping me work with those constituents. That's all. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Turner? Um, yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I wanted to ask uh, a couple questions. First thing I want to ask is, what did we submit to the DEP? What, what was our request to Department of Environmental Protection on that grant that just closed? That was for the, for the remaining of the force main. And what was the total amount, Ms. Davis? Um, I believe, Shane, are you online? Yes, but I can't recall the amount, unfortunately. That's okay. Well, okay. I'll but we definitely got it in the door. And, um, and, and do we have a time frame? I want to say that David, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to talk to us like in, in the next 30 days or so, right? To let us know. We, we believe so. And, and we'll get you the exact amount. We, um, revised it to make sure that we would be able to cover all of the remaining construction costs. Someone has got a lot of feedback. Shane, you might want to mute your line. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. So we'll get that updated figure to you, Commissioner Turner, and to all the commissioners, um, and then get you the exact amount that the request was for. Do you have it with you? 2.285476. Would you, would you come up to the mic, sir, so they can hear you, please, sir? Yes, Thank sir. You. Randy Martin, uh, City of Clewiston. I was going to try to help Jennifer out there. I just happened to have it. Uh, $2,285,476 for phases four through seven to complete the construction cost. And uh, that does not include the administrative portion for grant administration that would be late. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Commissioners, were you able to hear that? Mr. Chairman, was he speaking in reference to the grant that we we submitted to FDEP? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. I heard a whole bunch of other stuff, but I don't know if people were talking into mics or what. I was very confused. Yeah, we had a lot of background noise there from one of the mics. Okay, good. I was making sure it wasn't me. Um, the other thing I wanted to ask was, uh, Shane, I, I believe you guys did a fair amount of road work out in the Pioneer Ladika area, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, we done a lot of work out there. Tim Ford, if you could just give us a report of some sort to, to let us know what roads were dealt with. I don't know if y'all keep track of that, and uh, and and that way we'll have a timestamp associated with when that was done. And then I want to ask: Has the has the guardrail on Ever High been dealt with? And um, and there was another item that I'm, I'm throwing a blank on, and I do have to get with you all offline about a. Uh, Alicia and Dan Hansen and their property, they, they have an issue that they're wanting to address. They're wanting to get uh, information from the county, and we're going to have to need to uh, assist them with that. So that's it, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much. Thank you, Commissioner. As far as the guard, as far as the, the guardrail or PO was put in, I don't think the work has been performed yet, but it's scheduled to. Tim Ford, thank you, sir. Thank you. Ms. Bird? Yes, Shane, I have a question. The markers that's on 10th and... 11 is that for the stop or are they monitoring that he said, yeah. those, the, those are traffic tubes and they're monitoring traffic counts so we can determine if a four-way stop is warranted at that intersection okay thank you other than that i have nothing else I appreciate it thank you mr Barrett. mr harris i'm good you're good um shane a uh, question on um 40 no road um where are we at with getting that sign in there 
The looking at the speed limit warning detector signs being installed probably the first week of October. They got some of the equipment in, but not they don't have the basis for the signs in yet. So be looking the first week of October. Okay, very good. Uh, the second thing is uh, when you when you have time this week or the first part of next week, I'd like to get with you concerning Murray Road. Uh, we need to revisit that this coming year. Um, while we where we went kind of backwards a year or so ago, it's kind of hindered uh, the ability to keep that road in the in condition it needs to. So um, I don't know what your schedule is, but I'll be bugging Miss Imlage in the morning, and we'll probably touch base with you just to see about that. Is that our? I can meet with you anytime after Tuesday next week. Sounds good. Perfect. Uh, that's really all I have at this time, too. Do we have old business that we can discuss? or? We have one other. Shane has a staff report. Um, okay. D1 that we could go over. Sounds good. Mr. Parker, you have a staff report under D1? Yes, sir. This is something I bring to you every year, notifying you that you have, if you elect not to go with Clark for Mosquito Control Services, that we need to give them 90 days notice. Otherwise, the contract extends for another year. Um, so staff desiring to know if the board is on moving forward with Clark again for mosquito control services. Is that an action item? Yes, sir. Does anybody on the board have comments or? E. E is in Edward. No, B is in boy. B is the one. I'm sorry. I'm back. My alphabet was off. I'm having a hard time understanding. It was kind of muddy. Move to accept contract I second it. we got a motion by Commissioner Harris second by Commissioner Bird is there any further discussion on the board about that anyone online hearing none all those in favor Aye. opposed motion carries um, we still got plenty of time is there more on that under the uh, county engineer we need to look at or is that the only one the only one and so everything's good under county administration mr chair i have an item i'd like to ask about yes sir it's carson uh shane you you showed us a map i think it was two meetings ago but it may have been last meeting on the property that's there in uh labelle that um i made a i made a suggestion of you know giving us giving us an idea of what you could do and then us us pushing that out to DEP as well uh, because it would be a water quality or a water improvement project. Are you familiar with what I'm talking about? We went, we went over the map right there in, in the chambers? No. Yes, sir. I'm familiar with it. It's a lot on Pollywall Creek up in North LaBelle. I thought it was Pollywall. I didn't want to say it. That would be incorrect. So um, so where, where does that stand today, Shane? Is that something you, you would like for us to move the needle, so to speak? Yes, sir. I mean, we would. I would like to get it. I know that Jennifer has um, reached out to Dan DeLisi, or well, she's. I can't say she's actually spoken to him, but she has instructed me to give him a call, and that, I guess he's expecting my call. And I'll do that when I return from vacation. Call him and find out what he can do to help us out. What about Four Corners? Do we have an update on Four Corners? I personally do not have an update other than. Mark's reviewed the agreement. I reviewed the agreement and issued comments. And the grants and special districts, grants and special projects coordinator submitted to DEP, and we're waiting on a revised document back from DEP. And, and then my last question would be, of the of the funding that we have currently for the force main, what is the status of those projects? moving forward where do we have an update that we could we could all be given okay on the first million dollar phase we have approved plans approved by the county approved by the city of Clewiston. we asked them to approve them since ultimately they'll take over the line in the future we have approved specs we have a permit issued by dep um U.S. Sugar, Mark's working with U.S. Sugar regarding the easement language to make sure it's correct. I think they've pretty much got it fine-tuned down, but Mark can elaborate on that. There was a uh, need for a title search in that one area. I just got the title search Friday. Um, I have not reviewed it or sent it to Mark yet. 
And then my office is preparing the invitation, the bid. They were working on that this week. So we're real close to issuing a bid on this first phase of construction as soon as the easements are recorded. And then the second million dollars, I've got, we've got a rough alignment where it goes to Lewis due south. I've got to meet with Johnson Engineering in the city to discuss that in further detail, but have not because I wanted to get this first phase out the door to bid. And that's it. Shane, could you, Mr. Chair, could, could Shane give us, could someone rather prepare that and give that to us in writing? And then Shane, if you would give us a time frame of when you think that that, that invitation to bid on the first phase is going to be gone. And then if you could also tell us when you think the second phase is going to be pushed out the door, I'd, I'd love to have that and be able to, to check back in with it and make sure we're following up through it. I can do that. Thank you so much. That's it, Mr. Chair. I appreciate you. I got one for you. Uh, Shane, don't we have more lots on Polywog that you wanted to buy? Um, I think there's only one vacant lot on Polywog. I mean, if there was two, sure, but I think there's only one vacant one on Polywog that I, I recall. I thought there was one with a mobile on it. The Aaron, well, it could be. I mean, yeah, I was thinking that mobile Roy got Brown. demoed. No, I think on, it had it got destroyed in Hurricane Irma. But yeah, that's on Roy Brown. We're at the wrong creek. It's Roy Brown with a mobile home. That's Roy Brown? Yeah. Okay. Kind of shifting gears off of drainage, Shane. Where, where are we at with the uh, addition to the Fort Deneau Cemetery? They, um, we were removing gopher tortoises. I want to say it was last week, or it might have been this week, but they were removing gopher tortoises. Mr. Vaughn worked with um, Johnson Engineering providing the equipment and the manpower to excavate them. And I want to say they excavated 23 or 23 something gopher tortoises to be relocated. We um, we issued the invitation to bid for the expansion for the entire stormwater master system of the of the cemetery expansion project and for a road for the first phase and some grading. And we just got bids back, and I have not had a chance to evaluate the bids. Once it's evaluated, we'll be bringing those before the board for accepting and awarding to the lowest responsible contractor. Okay, thank you. Uh, this, uh, Tommy just said it was 24, so I appreciate that. Um, does anyone have any other further business? If not, we're going to take a short recess. You can do a hearing of the public, the miscellaneous hearing of the public. Can we do those? That's not public hearing, just the public comment on miscellaneous items that you do at the end. So Thank you, Commissioner Turner. Did you have something, Commissioner Turner? Kurt? Yeah, but did Mark say we're going to look at something else? I don't know who was talking. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was uh, our mics are kind of hard to hear. Um, he, he said we could do the miscellaneous on the bottom, so we're going to drop over and catch that. We just can't do the public hearing portion yet. All right, if you want to do that, and then I'll, and then I'll, if we still have more time, I got an item I'd like to discuss. Well, let's just go ahead and go with that, Commissioner Turner. Go ahead. Go ahead with what I wanted to bring up, sir. Yes, sir. Um, Jennifer, have you thought any more about uh, putting a proposal out? Well, I tell you what. First, before we get into that, what about the CARES Act money that we've been shuffling out? Is, is the staff feel that that's going? How's that going? Yes, it's um, as as. As discussed, it didn't go as quickly as we wanted it to in the beginning, um, but it is really rolling. Um, just this afternoon, I probably approved about 30 applications um, that were ready for my review. And so um, checks are, have been, are being cut. Uh, businesses and individual uh, folks have received their dollars. I don't, I can get a, um, exact amount and get that to you i don't have that with me tonight um, but it is it's really rolling last week um, thanks to tommy um, we borrowed one of his staff members who um, is a great resource in our county and we added another internal staff member to our team uh, to help us um, expedite these applications and, and be able to get them processed quicker so um, we've got about six folks now that are working on them in total. 
And um, I believe that uh, within the next, uh, I would say, week or two, we will have what we, at least what we've received to date, complete. Mr. Chair, I, I, I want to say thank you for the update. And the only thing, unless y'all think this is too hokey, um, I, would, I would just ask that Jennifer push that out to the media outlets. I think it's something that staff should be proud of. I have had a couple businesses reach out and say thank you, and I've had a couple individuals reach out and say thank you. And I want, I want it to be known that the county isn't sitting here beating its chest saying this is our money. This is, the, this is the federal government working on behalf of the American taxpayer. I think it's something that we should celebrate, though. This has never happened in the history of my lifetime, and I think staff is doing a good job. Yeah, we had growing pains. Yeah, there's people that are critical of it. We probably, we probably, you know, if, if we could go back to uh, day one and start all over, yeah, we'd probably be a little bit smoother in this process. But we've never dealt with anything like this in our lifetime. And uh, knock on wood, hopefully we never will have again. But I'd like for Jennifer to, uh, to, to celebrate this a little bit. Just a social media method of something. But I, I'd love to celebrate how many dollars and cents we're pushing out. And just encourage other folks to understand that it's just something that is real, it's tangible, and it's there for the taking. Uh, and that's not anything to be negatively doing. It is something that we need to, to utilize in the event that people need it. That's just my thought. Do you have any left? Yes, sir. And so I can, I will get you, you know, our total, what we've, um, so there's several moving parts. So we have totals, we have what's been approved, and then once it's approved, then we're waiting on um, them to send back a notarized affidavit before we can actually cut them a check. Um, and then there's some that have been applied, but maybe there, we're still waiting some backup information. We feel like it will be approved, but if for some reason they don't submit the proper documentation in a timely manner, then it, then it'll, then it won't be. And so we've got, you know, various figures that we are, because it's first come, first serve. So we're being very diligent that um, we give everybody a proper time frame to submit maybe missing information so they don't lose their place if you will so there's a lot of lot of detail and a lot of moving parts with with those figures um but we'll we'll get those out to do you do you think they're going to eat it all up i hope i hope we do i i think so um we're still receiving applications to date and right. so you know we had a big push in the beginning and then it was a little bit of a lull then then they've you know been rolling in pretty steadily can't you receive on through December? Like so, so right now we can sp expend the funds through December 30th. And just, I believe it was last week, Emily, was it last week or earlier this week where we received another 50 something thousand dollars from SHIP or CDBG um, for housing um, that'll be added to the pot. Okay. And so, um, and, and there's also been a request to extend the deadline. So right now we're operating as if it's December 30th, because that's the date. But there's been a huge push uh, legislatively from all parties, I believe, to, to, to extend the deadline further. And so we don't know what that might look like. It will be a blessing if that occurs, because it's very difficult to follow proper procurement policies. Um, with as long as it takes for us to do things on our government side of things um, with that date. So Can the ship be spent on anything? Well, those are those are more of the individual assistance to help people with their Perfect. rent and mortgage right. and utilities. Well, that, uh, they can use that. Yes, sir. Mr. Chair, just to add to what Jennifer said, too, look, you know, they're trying to push an entire fiscal year. It looks like there's definitely going to be a 90-day uh, you know, Grant, but there's a lot of loss for me that the current bring at every level right now to try to push that to a full fiscal. And the fiscal being, you know, September, October 1, September 30, October 1 is when it starts over. And obviously that would take us to December, but they're, they're trying to push it a, a year out, if you will. So um, that's, that's just one thing to be saying. And then the last thing I want to ask you was, um, have you all given, has staff given any more consideration to you know, during Hurricane Irma, which I think was this week, a few years ago, um, did we give any consideration to the fact that during that hurricane, there was one special needs shelter that was, I was the first time I got educated to that, that
That was located in Muse uh, in, at West Glades. And now here we are X number of years later, and we still don't have a special needs shelter that's able to serve, you know, the eastern side of the county. And we don't have one in, actually in Henry County. I don't really care that we have one, you know, in Henry Glades. That's wonderful. That's a great thing. But I do think that it would be prudent for us to, at, at minimum, take Clifton Middle School or Clifton High School and, and have the ability to harden the facility and make sure that we have X number of KW on the generator with an ATS so that we can have that, that need met. What, what, if any, conversation has occurred with the school board, and what are your thoughts on that? Have we moved forward at all? We, we did, uh, Rick. I don't, know, I don't know if he's online, um, but he did reach out to DEM and request. Um, there was some conversation, I believe, at a previous board meeting about doing that, and so um, he requested uh, to see if we could pay for the generator that we were discussing, and, and they said that CARES money would not be allowable for that. I believe what he said, uh, we, we have an email that I can I can send everyone, um, but I believe what he said is that they would pay for some rentals. So if there were, if there was a name storm um, and we needed some additional generators or something like that, that we could possibly pay for some rentals, but it would not pay um, for what we were talking about. But in terms of the special needs shelter, there has been some internal discussion over, over quite some time um, as far as retrofitting some existing school facilities, and I know that our EM team has been working on that. We are um, applying and have applied for some uh, CDBG MIT monies um, for public safety purposes and, and things like that, and there's a couple different rounds um, for those dollars. Um, so we can look at a future round of application for maybe not, it may or may not pay for the generator for that, but maybe some of the other upgrades that we, that he's speaking of. So, so if I'm understanding you correctly, you're saying that we, we sent a formal response in to emergency management and emergency management at the state level said we cannot spend CARES dollars on an anticipated reimbursement rather on, uh, on upgrading our, our shelters. We could not do that. We could not. Um, we could not purchase a generator for the shelters using CARES dollars. So can you rent? Uh, yeah. And, and you said that they responded to us in writing. So could you could you forward that to me? I'd love to review that. Sure. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. Part of that conversation was the uh, the schools generators that was existing. We were going to look at. That what it was going to take to get the high school back online in LaBelle, the middle school in Clewiston uses a portable generator, the middle school in LaBelle uses a portable generator, and we, we was, that was been, for the last couple of years, we've been discussing that. That was a portion of the hardening of the buildings we, had, we were seeking last year and didn't get. Right. But, um, so that, that's that's something we, we can't, we, we need to push that every year. We do not have a special needs facility, and that's going to require a, a larger size generator, because you have to have air conditioning in there. It has to run all those machines, so... That's a little different animal. So just mm -hmm. even one of our portables really isn't big enough right. for what we need to do. So that, that's need to keep that in consideration as we move forward on that. Yes, so, see, uh, Jennifer, uh, uh, on the courthouse, or do we have to finish that before we can start on the jail? No, not necessarily. Um, Shane has been working, and Alan has been working with Chris Tell on getting, right. and we're still waiting, is my understanding, because I haven't seen anything. <coughs> Um, formally on the pricing for the jails, so that's what we're waiting on. That those could happen simultaneously. But the roof's a big thing, isn't it? So they're working on the roof, and then they're working on the um, the mortar uh, between the bricks, and so they're doing both of those at the same time, if you will. Um, and then we have the jail that we're we're so waiting on. So they got on. the same problem the old courthouse has and the new one. The it, it was a different. It, it was a different kind of problem. Oh, okay. It, it, both of them were the same result, but it was a different kind of problem. The front of the old courthouse really looks looks brand new. It does. It looks really good. So they're they're finishing up on the other east side, I, mm -hmm. or no? North yeah, south east side. side. Yeah, south and east. South right and now. east side mm -hmm. right now. Yep. Yeah. I was there today? It was looking really good. Oh, looks brand um, new. Guess we can move into uh, public areas now. So we're gonna we're gonna start the the the, uh, 
budget portion of this, it's a budget hearing. We're going to allow for the public hearing on the Henry County Board of County Commissioners tentative budget for fiscal year 2021. Pursuant to Florida Statute, Section 200.065. First item of business for adoption is a tentative millage rate. The rollback rate is 7.4135 mills. The proposed millage rate is 7.7500, which is a 4.54% more than a rollback rate. This is a public hearing, so we're going to start with public comment at this time. On the board, do we have board conversation at this time? Mr. Chair, this is Carson. Um, I'd just like to say I believe in my tenure as the commissioner. This is the highest um, percent increase that I've, that I've supported. Um, I'm scared to death of what COVID is going to do to our budget process next year. Uh, I think that this is the right thing that we're doing. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that the board is going to support this. Uh, I hate raising the taxes on the, on the constituents of Hendry County, but I think that uh, – with the increases that we've seen, uh, this is, you know, we're, we're kind of cutting it in half a little bit, if you will. And, um, and I'm, I'm hoping that we'll be supportive of this. And, uh, next year starting, starting months ago. And I know, and I feel very confident that Ms. Davis has already started this process. We're going to have to pull tight on our budget. I think it's going to be very stressful for us. And, um, and I'm appreciative of the County employees and I hope that they will, they will, uh, toe the line with us on this, like they've always done in years past. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Commissioner Turner. Anyone else have comments on the board? No. Anyone of the public like to address us at this time? Either in person or by phone? Um, we have six that are muted. Star six. Star six. Star six. Oh, the star seven. six is how you unmute to speak. I'm sorry I didn't say that earlier. None being heard. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Next item of business is adoption of the tentative budget. Appropriation of venue revenue estimate for the budget fiscal year 2020-21 is proposed to be 70 Are we going to get by with that much, Mr. Harris? No. Are we going to get a sidewalk? No, we're going to have to. Just check. We're going to have to borrow money. This is also a hearing of the public. Does anyone of the public like to speak to this at this time on the board? Mr. Chair, I make a motion to approve the budget as presented. Second. We got a motion by Commissioner Turner, second by Commissioner Harris. Again, this is a hearing of the public. If anyone would like to speak to this of the public that is either in person or on phone, star six to unmute if you're on the phone. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, just to mention in your book um, the resolution the total dollar figure is a little bit different the one that we're approving is seventy million two hundred um, fifty seven thousand eight hundred thirty three dollars just to mention that for the record all those in favor aye, aye. opposed motion carries let's see MSB use Going to take us to the MSBUs, it is. I move to accept the MSBUs as presented. Well, we got three. We need to We're going to start with the adoption of the East, East, Fire. East Fire. Yeah, right. Okay, under public hearings, uh, portion C is adoption of an increased assessment for East Henry County Fire MSBU. Uh, uh, Mr. Right. Harris made a motion. Do we have a second on that? Second. Motion by Mr. Harris, second by Commissioner Byrd. This is record. also a hearing of the public. What's that, Mark? And just for the record, this is the one with the 15% increase across the board. Okay. Anyone in the public like to address this either in person or by phone? Hearing none. Any further discussion on the board? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. I'll wait a little longer for Mr. Swin. I'm sorry. I'm used to you being up here. No so problem. I'll, I'll slow down a little bit. Uh, <laughs> D, under the adoption of final assessment res resolution for RV parks, lots, hotels, motels within the West Henry County Recreational MSBU. So moved. Second. We need to do every one of these individually. Uh, well, well, the first two we do. And the, the, but then, then from then we E down, do. we'll put all together? Yes. Okay, gotcha. 
Okay, we have a motion by Commissioner Harris, uh, second by Commissioner Bird. Any further discussion on the board over this? Anyone in public, either in person or by phone? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. All right, that brings us to E. Now we can put the rest of them together. So. I move to accept the remainder of the MSBUs as presented. I'll second the motion. Okay, we got a motion by Commissioner Harris, second by Commissioner Swindle. This is also a hearing of the public. Uh, if there's anyone in the public would like to speak to this now, either in person or by phone, star six to unmute if you'd like to speak. Hearing none, any further discussion on the board? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Um, staff reports, I believe we're taking care of all that, haven't we? Yes, sir. Um, is there any other business anyone would like to address the board at this time, either in person or by phone? Any more business by the board members? Uh, Commissioner Turner, real quick, how did it go uh, with President Trump? I, I know you were able to make it, and I believe Raymond was as well. How did that? How did that go? Mr. Chair, were you asking me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It, it was very nice, Mr. Chairman. Uh, and the president looked mighty spelt. I don't know what that boy's been doing, but he turned the clock back. He looks good. He's as um, he's as confident as ever. But it was a uh, it was it was much more. Uh, it was a much smaller group than what I anticipated, and it was it was good to see our uh, our state representative Byron Donald there, uh, you know, who who has just won his primary, and, and you know, moving to the general for that congressional seat, and um, it was just a, it was a great group of people and a, and a, and a very patriotic laden day, and a good day for the state of Florida with regards to uh, some of the protections that were that were pushed out uh, by the commander in chief. So I was very honored to be there. And thank you to uh, Hendry County for allowing allowing me to serve and, and be in attendance for that. Thank that's you, a, Mr. Turner. That's a good compliment from a Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> don't 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 tell them don't tell them I'm registered as a Democrat. I don't think they know it yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any further business? Hearing none. Meeting adjourned. Thank you. Record. Y'all have a good day. Thank you as well.